Welcome to the Mildura Weekly and joining me today is Ray Harris who is from Ulster's Operations in South Mervine. Ray, tell us what you're doing out there. Well, I work for a company that's uh, looking to establish a, um, a multi-lab facility that's going to service the area, particularly the growers mm. uh, and also food manufacturers, processors, uh, basically anyone that needs testing of food, water, environment uh, and uh, We've currently got our soil and plant nutrition lab up and running, about to have our pesticide uh, uh, lab running to do MRL testing, and very soon uh, microbiology and uh, environment and water analysis soon to follow after that. Well, of course, you've established a state-of-the-art facility on what was the former CSIRO's uh, mm. facility at South Melbourne. Quite an iconic location. It's mm. got a lot of great history attached to it, and you're planning to uh, breathe new life back into it. Absolutely. Over 100 years of history there, uh, a lot of research, a lot of things that have benefited uh, the community uh, locally that have flowed from there. Uh, and we're, we're looking to salute that history, and, and we're actually planning to set up a museum as part of the, uh, the site as well. Um, we're already uh, encouraging uh, local schools to bring science students through, kids that are potentially looking at mm. their science as a career. And um, now we're, we're seeing that they can come through and look at the, the state of the art equipment, but they can also look at the, the history of science and research related to, to the site. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's a big part of what we're looking to do going forward. Yeah, well, of course, you had some students there recently uh, mm. for an open day, and uh, you have a tremendous conference facility there, Theatrette, with all the uh, AV equipment, um, ideal for students and and uh, business conferencing. Absolutely, it, it's a, a terrific setup. Obviously, being CSRO, they they encourage a lot of industry bodies and a lot of industry-related meetings, whether it be dried fruit, wine, grapes, mm. um, you know, everything associated with horticulture. Uh, and citrus as well. Mm. So we're certainly encouraging local industry to utilise that facility mm. uh, and it'll be available to the public as well but equally too as you said science students coming through uh, um, that'll, that'll all be used for that that, uh, that situation mm. uh, and we'll have tours obviously about the students coming through but uh, basically we're encouraging particularly growers to come and have a look uh, uh, I'll be speaking to various industry bodies to, to encourage them to come to the site, have their conference, have their, their meetings, mm. come for a tour of the site, and uh, yeah, we, it, it's almost it's almost looking ready to go. Yeah, and of course you've employed some very uh, highly qualified uh, chemists. I guess they are in a lot of ways yes. the scientists uh, who are doing the testing. Just yep. tell us a little bit about your staffing. Uh, we, we have some PhD uh, uh, scientists, um, so we, we have uh, some experts in a range of different areas. Um, I mentioned soil and plant uh, nutrition side of things, so we've got a lot of experience in that area. Mm -hmm. um, I've one area of particular interest to me is microbiology. Uh, I'm a microbiologist originally myself, mm -hmm. uh, and I can see a lot of potential in, in the soil microbiology side of things. So we'll be looking to work with uh, growers and particularly some of the bigger corporates to do a bit of research in that regard because mm -hmm. I can see it's the next wave of opportunity for getting better crops is to, to work on the improving the health of the soil. Mm. Uh, so we'll be offering services and analysis related to that. Uh, and I think that's going to be big. Yeah, that's marvellous. And of course you offer a quick turnaround service and I think down the track you'll be uh, offering a courier service to pick up samples and that sort of thing across the region. Absolutely. So we're looking at, uh, for our soil plant nutrition, uh, five working days to get the results back to growers. So that's critical because what you'd find is uh, the thing is there hasn't been a lab like this in the region and there isn't one within at least 400 k's. Mm -hmm. So as a consequence people, growers and manufacturers have to send away samples to a capital city. You've got the time delays, you've got impacts on leaf samples for instance or soils, uh, all of which can play a part in, in affecting your results. But the turnaround time is critical. If, if you've, you've got a deficiency in nutrients with your crop, whether it be grapevine, whether it be citrus, and you're not addressing that deficiency in a, in a timely manner, that's impacting on your crop. So if we can provide that turnaround of five working days, mm. uh, that, that's, that means they can get in there, address the problem, maximise the, the crop ultimately that they can get. Mm. Um, we're still working out the timelines for the rest, but uh, pesticides, we're, we're hoping to work to about that time period, certainly about a week. Mm. We know that um, 
that can take months to get a result currently uh, through labs in the capital cities. So we're hoping that we can make a real impact there. The microbiology, I think, is critical because, uh, again, uh, samples that you send away that are exposed to uh, the different weather and temperature fluctuations can have a dramatic effect on the actual sample itself. So your results could be useless if you're sending them away. Whereas you could, if you send them up the road and uh, either drop them in or ultimately when, when we have a courier service, then we can get that sample dealt with straight away and we can get a result hopefully within I would think three to five days. Tremendous. Mm -hmm. We're just about out of time but I did want to mention how Ulster's investors are very keen to contribute to the community and of course you mentioned the museum. Yes. Uh, that, that'll be a marvellous thing. Yes. Uh, look we are certainly looking to get in touch with former CSRO people. We are looking to identify what's what's uh, critical in terms of or what's what's important in terms of lots of photos, lots of mm. old equipment that we have. Mm. Uh, so yes, we, we want to make that something for the community, school students, but even tourists potentially. Mm. Mm. Right, thanks so much for coming in and we wish you all the best with Ulster. Thank you, my pleasure. Cheers. And be sure to get all your local news at muldurraweekly.com.au.